God morning to you this morning. What a beautiful day in Florida. I sent an email out yesterday called The Sun. I think it was a beautiful email. I hope you read it. Well, a friend of mine named Rudy sent me an email back. And I think it's definitely worthy of discussing. His email reads, and I quote, I really enjoyed this story, but I have a question. When God decided he was going to have a son, did he make the decision that his son was going to be sacrificed at the cross to save us from sin before the decision to have his son? In other words, or did he decide to sacrifice his son after Jesus was born? I believe that's a valid question. Now, this is what I sent back to Rudy, and hopefully this will bless you. Father, bless us now with understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. In Jesus' name, amen. Rudy, good morning to you, my brother. I will first tell you the vision I was shown in the spirit, then I will give you the scriptures to back up the vision. I believe God was sitting in heaven one day and he called a board meeting with his other selves, the Holy Spirit and the Word. Now, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, or the Comforter, they are all the same. Scripture, John fourteen twenty six. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you. This was Jesus talking to his disciples before he went back to heaven. Now, it's important to know that Jesus was also called and is called the Word, Scripture. John 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. This statement leads me to believe that God said it, and Jesus did it. God said, let there be light, and Jesus does the light, because he, Jesus, is light. The scripture says, all things were made by him. Okay, so I believe God had a meeting in the great throne room with his other selves, and the topic of this meeting this day was man, scripture. Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness so God says I want children see that's why I believe he's called the father because he's always had a father's heart anyway he talks about he wants children and I just imagine when he said he wanted to create and make these children in the image of him and him other selves the Holy Spirit our Holy Ghost raises his hand in the meeting to ask a question because the Holy Spirit is always asking questions, you know. Let me just say this. When you are about to do something in your life and it may be a bad decision and you have this yearning, this feeling, this uneasiness in your spirit leading you not to do whatever it is, that is the Holy Spirit questioning your decision to do what you're about to do. And many times you refrain from thinking about doing whatever it is. And sure enough, if you would have done it, you would have gotten in trouble or you would have gotten distracted from your purpose. That's the Holy Spirit's job, see, to guide you down the right paths. So the Holy Spirit raises his hand and ask a question and that question was if you make them in our image and give them a free will what if they decide to go against us and not be for us or with us 
Then God says, then one of us will have to go down to earth and die to redeem them so they can come to heaven when they die and live with us forever. And the word puts his hand up and says, I'll take it on. I'll do it. And the word became flesh. See, and that is why I believe that God being God knew before the foundation of the world that Jesus would have to be born and die for us and rise from the dead because the Bible says God is all-knowing, all-powerful, almighty. What a God. What a God.